Hello and welcome to chapter 31 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver and PHP. Right, we had stopped while having a look at the purchases of the user who is active in, in this moment with whom we logged in and there was a section called status. People is interested in checking the status of the purchase, if it's been paid correctly, if it's been sent, etc. For it we need from the administration section, um, let's open a new label, localhost shop admin Remember, we have here the administration. Uh, no, it's not shop, it's shoes. Sorry. There it is. Here we have the administration. Remember, here we have our list of purchases, the active purchases we've got, three in this case. Here we have the means of payment. And in actions, we saw um, the individual purchases. I mean, the, the trolley, so to say, of, of each person, okay? We as administrators are going to put here a couple of clicks. Imagine you have already received the notice in your email, uh, we've done it already, and you have already sent the product, so to say, or there is some problem with the payment, or it's a person you don't want to send the items because the payment is faulty. So with this page of purchases edit, we're going to I'm going to close all these windows, close all, and that way we start from zero. We go to the admin and in the purchases edit here we have the page we get, which is the one we are watching here, okay? And we're going to create here a couple of links. Let's type uh, cancel purchase, for example, cancel purchase. And another one that will be confirmed purchase, okay? By now we will leave this here. This will call a couple of pages that will make us the, the job in the table purchases indicating if this purchase has been finished or not. If we go to the database, in the table purchase, uh, you see we have the field I purchase, user date purchase means of payment and total, but we haven't got a field to indicate the purchase status. So let's create it. We go to design table and we add a field that will be in status. It will be an integer and as a default we will indicate the value of that field is zero we save and there we have it if we open now the table purchase uh, let's try and pull put all this together uh, you will see the status zero okay we can define the status as we please one two three whatever we need uh, let's go to our functions file because if my memory doesn't fail